Hey, what's the deal, man? Shabella Mike, aka Austin's favorite MC. We live here on Pop Austin Media. You on the mic with Mike, man. We got some special guests in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? What up, what up, what up? What's up? Eric White, Anastasia. What's got good? Jacob back there. We're going to bring you up here. What's up? <laughs> um, but real quick before we jump into this, hey, check this out. You still got time to vote. The SCA Awards. Shout out to TJ the DJ, our family. Hey, female DJ of the year. She's the last one on the list. Scroll down. Click. Hey, we're going to bring that trophy home, man. What up, TJ? All right, let's jump into it. What is up? Okay, so Eric White, yeah. I know you as a musician. <laughs> yeah. Same with Anastasia. Anastasia I, I'm just right. so we're gonna get into the name change because we'll that, that's 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 messing me up. Like we go way back. We go way yeah. back. Yeah, we're back. But we're gonna start with you, Eric White. Like I said, I know you as a musician. Um, where are you from originally? I'm from San Antonio, Texas, actually, and then Say I moved town. up here in Austin back in 2001 for film school. Okay, you see. Longhorns, <laughs> and a season. Oh man, I'm from Austin. I was actually born in San Antonio, but I've been in Austin all my life. Okay. Yeah. I never knew that. You didn't know. You born in San Antonio. I'm saying, we learn it. See, I, no, was, wow. I was at UT as well. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah, okay. I was in Spanish. Major um, Jacob. I'm actually from Corpus Christi, Texas. Moved Corpus. To, yeah, moved to Houston and grew up in Missouri City. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, like I said before, like I said, I know y'all as musicians, but we bring y'all here today because y'all have a film. It's it's a series. Oh, yeah, series. it's a series. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a three part series that we're doing for season one. It's something called, meaningful. It's called something meaningful. Uh, I I wrote it and uh, I, I directed it and I'm in it. I mean, I, I did the whole Mel Gibson in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> What like, Mel Gibson? Now, like I said, I know you have to be a musician, but what made you transition into the acting? I mean, I was actually an actor before I was a rapper. Oh, that's a new. You know, I went to film school at UT, uh, and 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 I made films in college. Okay. And then after that, I transitioned into like more music after that. So people don't really know that about me, but I've I've done films before. Okay, that's what's up. You know, studied acting and all that shit. Same as for you, like yeah. Just know you're on the scene, you're on the stage. Look, now you. I think it's a seamless transition. I think most rappers are actors. Mm -hmm. You know, if you watch the evolution of rappers that have been in the game a long time, that. they all kind of, you know. I, I can yeah, see. Yeah, I think the, I the creativity, that. the you know, putting on that persona, is there. And Jacob, I know a little bit about you. I know you come from a musical background as well. Yeah. Um, what you got? musical background, mom and grandma threw me in voice lessons real young as a child and ever since that I've been perfecting vocals and uh, working with my brothers as you know right Bonnie and Kenny and we still do a bunch of things musically here in Austin all right how long have um I guess you transitioned into the film Eric? yeah it, it happened recently I actually wrote the script last July I wrote the script in a month I went through some shit and it was kind of my way of like decompressing, my way of like reconciling what I was going through at that time. And it turned into a, a movie at first mm -hmm. when I first wrote it. And then from there, it took off from there doing auditions. And before you know it, are you not doing music anymore? You, yeah, you know. we, uh, we actually are. We're actually doing the. Uh, we're writing the uh, the soundtrack for the series right now. We've been recording some music, Anya. Uh, Jacob and myself so I'm telling you right now yo this shit is going to be fire yeah, this is the music team you sitting with here yeah. okay, cause I was wondering yeah. about that cause yeah. like I said a big fan of yours like, I appreciate so I was it, like y'all yeah. not doing uh, music I no more think, I don't think a rapper ever stops being a rapper like okay. I know I'm gonna be a rapper till the day I die that's <laughs> yeah. how y'all know I'm gonna be dead cause I'm gonna stop rapping that's, that's when I'm gonna stop. stop yeah you just do things that's what you got you just do things if you're creative like, right like we are and just try different things and right like, yeah. see what you Thriving. It's like breathing. Yeah, it, it, it's also like, you know, I, I think people like when we grow, we, we, like we are born and I think we're taught to be not ourselves. We're taught to work mm -hmm. a job nine to five in a cubicle. And that shit's not fucking human, bro. Like we're not meant to be stuck behind desks for our entire lives. Sometimes we have to take, you know, a risk and sometimes just live our lives in creativity. For me personally, if I'm not creating, my anxiety level is a lot higher than when I am creating. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a lot cheaper than going to a therapist. <laughs> Uh, I guess what was your inspiration to, I guess, the oh, film? Well, I've been wanting to make a film for years. I actually wrote a script called Race Wars. I, I wrote it uh, back in college, and I wanted to remake that one. Right. Because I think it's really relevant in today's time. And, and, and I, I still want to make it. But then I went through some shit, 
I know it's it re- this 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 series is about relationships, about mental health. It's 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 loosely based on my life, but mental health is a big part of of of, of what I want to do um, in all my projects from here on out is to expose, you know, things that people n- normally don't really see. And, right. and and I know mental health is something that's it's so subjective, but at the end of the day, something out there that we don't really yeah, like to talk about, yeah, exactly. but it's out there. Like during the pandemic, what people don't know today, CDC released numbers that are saying that one in four young adults have, have have sought mental health treatment okay since the pandemic and so it's a growing problem that i think that you know we need to really address and so i like to put that in, in my work because i believe so hard in mental health because i suffer from it myself wow that's what's up yeah that's yeah. what i said that needs to be more to the light like that like i said that's something that we really don't like to talk about yeah but needs to be talked about well it's also based on where you're from too like i, I was raised and obviously I'm, I'm hispanic and you know i'm mexican-american actually and that in that community and when i was growing up mental health was not something like that we really recognized it was always like go to church and jesus will save you but there's a bigger problem to it than just what god can do you know it's 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 we need help you know it's, it's taboo went back to school yeah all right really what so your degree is going to be in psychology, psychology. Right. yes we need more um, therapists out there man i guess let's talk more about this film um cast members who else is in this play? Man, a lot of people are in this, but beyond uh, Anya and then and Jacob, you know, uh, my, my man Exit Black, Hosea Perkins, you know. He, Exit Black. Yeah, yeah. He plays, okay. he, he plays a therapist of my character, Jacob. He plays a therapist, uh, you know, Ju- uh, uh, Julius, you know, God dang, man. He played my uh, Henry. Uh, he, it's, I can't spoil it. But, you know, I, I got a lot of the cast from Austin and on, on, on Facebook and, you know, uh, you know Ariana. Uh, McPike, man, big shout out to her. She's a lead actress in this fucking project, and she killed that shit, man. She did. You know, <laughs> Chelsea Lane, Octavio Colbert, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the list goes on. I'm going to forget people, but, like, our cast, I'll tell you right now, man, our cast is fucking dope, bro. So all three of y'all actually have a part in the movie? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, but my character, Jacob, is the lead character of, of, of the series, and they play my best friends. Sense. And what's your character's name? My, na- my character's name is Marissa. Marissa. Yeah. And, I, you know, in some ways I get to be, um, we're co-workers, right? We're all co-workers. And in some ways I get to be Jacob's conscience mm-hmm. and kind of remind him, kind of bring him back to center on some things, yeah. especially as it, rec- as it regards to women, you know? Yeah. 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 Her character, it's funny, when I wrote her character, I knew that I wanted her to play it when I wrote it. You okay. know, I've known, I've known Anya for a very long time. Right. Her character is a, a, is, is a proud lesbian woman. And she is very opinionated against the <laughs> the fuckery, which yeah. means that the patriarchy that this country is built upon. I needed a character that was going to go against all that, mm-hmm. you know. Especially when you're working with a bunch of guys, women can relate to that. Like you you work with a bunch of dudes, or you know, sometimes they're misogynistic as fuck, and she's the opposite of that. So gotcha. yeah. Right. What about you, Jacob? What's your character? Stephen's character is his uh, coworker. Oh. And same thing. interesting about my character is it dispelled a lot of his stereotypes because um, he he envisioned this character as really gay super flamboyant mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and though i'm a gay man he was just like i don't feel like throwing this to a straight actor you should you should play this character and i kind of like took mm-hmm. it my own way not the flamboyant person that you know most people think of when they think of yeah I actually i totally i totally told him create your own character because I, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm a straight male. So like, who am I to say, Yeah, <laughs> you know, what is gay? You know I mean? I have no place in that. Just like men have no place in abortion rights, but this you know, impressive. message, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know what I mean? say it again. yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I told him that. And, you know, and, and, and I feel like, I feel like stereotypes can be played up a lot in film. I right. Mean, we've seen it, but I just wanted him to do his own thing. And he, he did a great job in that. Absolutely. All right, um, before we run this clip, um, what is this? Oh, my goodness. So, well, this here, this is Hera, Hera Tropical Rum. So, I've been, the last year to year and a half, I've been working on launching my own liquor brand. Um, I've teamed up with a, a, a woman in South Carolina who has her own distillery, her own wine and spirits company. She's been in the beverage industry yeah. 30 years. And so now this is my opportunity to branch out as an artist and just add another product to my brand. And I, this is my name. Hera is my middle name. It's on my birth certificate. I never knew what to do with it until now. It's like, yeah, <laughs> What's your I need, middle name? Oh, yeah. I need something strong, feminine, simple, and it's just, you know, right in front of me. So it's all been really organic the way that it's happened. Hera Tropical Rum. And it's actually on sale now. 
Okay. Anyway, we're going to be where sponsoring a bunch it? of parties in the fall right now. Yeah, where can you get it? Liquorland on I-35 and Airport Boulevard. Yeah. Gotcha. You know where the beauty school yeah. used to be? Yeah. The omelette yeah. and the pool Like, hall. Like, she don't know this yet, but she she's sponsoring the premiere party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what <laughs> that's what's so going to turn up. He, yeah, free, I'm ready. Free, free, free liquor for people who come. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty dope. Open bar. Um, We got the clip. We ready for the clip? Um, before we run the clip, explain what we're about to see right now. Uh, we're going to see a scene. Uh, it's one of the. It's the beginning of the series. It's between myself, uh, Anastasia, who plays Marissa, and 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 Jacob, who plays Stephen. Um, and it's a. It, it's a, essentially just us at work. Uh-huh. And you know, at work sometimes you just like talk shit with your friends. This is exactly what we do. So yeah, every day gives you the, gives you a, a little little taste of it. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about this actually watching this clip with you guys. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold up. What the fuck is a roster? <laughs> <laughs> a collection of women? Yeah, it's like a list of women that you can call over for sex whenever you want to. A we list, call them go to. A list of women. Wow. Well, if, Jacob, see, you have such potential. You are this close oh, to being stop, a good man. Marissa, fuck off, man. Look, women have rosters too, believe it or not. Mm. Okay? Well, maybe not you. Because you don't like dick. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> you have to be to have your own roster. I have my own roster. Oh my god, not you too, Steven? Bitch. Damn, I'll well, see you, brother. You're killing me. So, where do you go to recruit for this roster? Like, where do you go to meet these chicks? Dating sites. Dating sites. Yeah. It's like yeah. a. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah. That doesn't sound predatory at all. I'll have you know, dating sites are just another way for women to get pimped out online. I'll have you know that 70% of relationships are a direct result of them meeting on a dating site. Yeah, but you're not trying to get into relationships with these women. You just want to add them to your roster. I mean, <laughs> these women don't need to know that. Yeah, they don't. Really. <laughs> and see, it's motherfuckers like you two that make me extremely grateful that I'm a lesbian. Right? Damn. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know what the big deal about it is anyway, right? I'm, I'm being honest. I'm telling these women what it is, what it isn't. They know, you know, it's, it's an agreement, right? I'm helping these ladies out, too. Right, so look at it like this. We're liberators. We're liberating these women of their sexual desires. Facts. We should get a uh, Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. That's right. I'll take one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what your problems are? What? Y'all got commitment issues. And you're insecure. Yeah. Stop. All right, come on. Chill out, doctor. Yeah. There ain't no insecurities over here. None. Have the evidence is clear, Chris. What well, we had, Janet, we had Jasmine, uh, Amy. Amy. Amy, yeah. We had Erica. That's right. Erica was the one that he almost got the tattoo. Yeah, right. yeah. I was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the one that got away. Fool, you cheated on her. <laughs> and I felt bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> there was still Janet uh, and Amy, and so you broke up with them. Yeah, right. and I had my reasons. Bro, you broke up with, what's her name, Janet, because she had a broken spirit. Mm-hmm. She had a broken fucking screen right. for like two mm-hmm. months. That's a, so a red flag. <laughs> broken screen, broken, broken brain. brain yeah. And you broke up with Janet because she had a squatty potty in her bathroom. Is it too much for me to ask for you to put that shit away before I go <laughs> That is not sexy. Is it <sighs> sexy when you shit? Got you there. <laughs> no, you're not talking. You still get weird when you see a woman eat a burrito. First off, it's not just any burrito, only the big ones, man. We talked about this. Yeah, and you call yourself a feminist. Yeah, I have you know that I was out there marching in the fucking streets for women's rights, right? Uh, Where were you at? Stop. I called you. All right. You weren't there. Stop with the fuckery, all right? You only went down there to meet women. Got it. You met one girl down there. <laughs> that, was bad. that was just a coincidence, though. Well, well, well. What is going on in here? <laughs> Break you know, this shit up. Oh, you can stop it, bro. <laughs> oh my god. He's so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I am definitely looking forward to this. This is neat yeah. scene y'all oh like. God. That was hilarious, man. Oh, yeah. That was good. That, that was dope. great writing. Great Dang. writing. Great I, acting too. I appreciate Shout out to my that, guy man. in the back. Good. Yo, that that shit That's right there, bro. Stuff. I appreciate that, bro. That's like, neat. It's, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um 
I was gonna say, where can we see it? When is it released? Well, What's right up? now it, it's still being edited right now. Okay. Um, and and we're we're trying to get it done by November. November. Um, but I can tell you right now, I'm committing right now. It's gonna be released before the end of the year, and then we're gonna have a big premiere party. And you know, I want to have 600 people there. We're we're putting a lot of money in this premiere party. Are you actually trying to get like in the movie theater? Yeah, no, get... no, I'm gonna rent out a whole theater. Gotcha. That's, that's gotcha. done. You know what I mean? So it's it's all about getting people in there. And right. so, like, I, I think that what this it, it's a series, so it's the, it's a three part series to start off the, the whole thing, and then season two we'll be shooting next year. So this is kind of the beginning of everything, and okay. and a lot of the writing's like that. I mean, I wrote it myself, and I wanted to write and talk about things that are relevant today in relationships, online dating, hypocrisy, you know, scandal, all that shit like that. So this movie's everything rolled into one. It's not just about mental health; it's about just real life and right. people that are, are incredibly flawed, you know. And we're just trying to get through life. So yeah. I feel like it's, it's um, like a very Austin movie too. I feel like those are Austin conversations people be having, especially as far as the dating like, that you can relate to. Yeah, super relatable. Mm, yeah, man. I I think dating right dating is is so interesting, bro. Like from dating from a ma- from a male perspective and a woman's perspective, and and I'm writing women's characters, and it's crazy mm-hmm. because. I don't I don't take that lightly. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? But I was also raised around four sisters and my okay. one of my sisters, Marlena, big shout out to my sister. I love you. She's an English uh, major, double major actually, and she liked the way that I wrote these women in in, in the series. And oh, well, it, it, it seemed like you qualified there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you got I'm the saying, sister sister. I got the vouch. Yeah. I got the vouch. But yeah. like, but th- that that basically means that like women talk like men, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard women talk, bro. Like sometimes they talk a lot <laughs> dirtier than men <laughs> fucking talk, bro. Worse. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what we got? How much time we got left? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, let me see. So once again, when are we dropping this movie? Something meaningful. Uh, it's Something gonna be. Meaningful. It's gonna just say just say December. We'll say December because it'll be for for sure. I'm gonna commit to the end of this year. Uh, we're gonna premiere it. But as far as uh, it's gonna be streaming though too. Like in, in next year, I want to launch a campaign about streaming it. Okay. You know, Amazon Prime. There's different services out there, just like just like music artists can put their music on Apple Apple Music or Spotify, you know, filmmakers can do the same thing. So look out for it on that shit. All right, before we get out of here, uh, three things. Um, tell me something. I guess I'll tell y'all. Tell me something about the movie that you want the people to know. So, um, I, I I want the people to know that th- this series is is really about real fucking life, man. Uh-huh. Uh, and some of the conversations are very hard hard to hear, right? uh-huh. but that's life. And I wanted to make something really real as far as that's concerned. Mm-hmm. Did I go? I learned a lot about working with my friends in this community and uh, building something uh, that we all love. Yeah. Say that? I mean, and y'all said it, you know, but the main thing that I learned is that, you know, I'm always, I've always learned from Eric from right. the time that we met over 10 years ago. I've always been learning from him and inspired by his motivation. When he has an idea, he's going to move on that idea. He's not going to stop until it comes to fruition. When he's serious about it, when he puts his mind to something. So that's always an example. <laughs> and same that. thing. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm that's glad that I get to work with my friends and create. You know, when we get into the studio, we've been having studio sessions. We were in weekly writing sessions, yep. the three of us, trying to make sure we could create music that fit that project. And so I've learned so much about them, and you know they're my brothers. I'm so love, happy. I'm so love. happy that we get to do this. And yes, let's work go together. drink. Yeah. Let's go drink. Let's do it. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Something <laughs> meaningful. Y'all look out for it. Google it. It's in December. December. Yeah. December. And also, oh, Facebook. Go on Facebook. Like the Something Meaningful page, please. We need you guys to like that shit because I'm trying to do something that's never been done before. So we need your help on that shit too. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all on the show, man. Appreciate y'all time. Yeah, man. Once again, this is little Mike, man. Pop off the media. Uh, click, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thanks for checking out this interview. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can check out some more and things that we've done in the past.